Hello everyone and welcome to this new Be Resplendent episode. We are having the pleasure of answering another question today. Um, I guess if we were going to call this um, a title, it would be regarding people pleasing. And, and humility. And humility, mm -hmm. which is a huge part of it. Mm -hmm. And also, God really seen the intentions of the heart. Mm -hmm. So, let's read the question. It says, Hello, pastors. I'm struggling with people pleasing. I know that Jesus often talked about being humble and putting others before ourselves. But can you explain the difference between humility and people pleasing? Thank you, Mary. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure a lot of you are probably thinking, yeah, that's something I've battled with. The first thing that we want to expound upon is please don't confuse wanting to please God with wanting to please others. I'm going to repeat that. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you not to confuse wanting to please God with wanting to please people. Yeah. What we were discussing is that God is always going to look at the intentions of the heart mm -hmm. in all that you do. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel that you could be people pleasing? Why do you think that you are doing something to please God? What is the intention of your heart? And are you being humble about it? So God is always looking at the intentions, the motives, what's going on in your heart. Psalms 139 verse 23 tells us, Investigate my life, O God. Find out everything about me. Cross-examine and test me. Get a clear picture. Then this is where we're going to go uh, with this upcoming episode pertaining to this. God is wanting to cross-examine. And will we give him permission? Will we give him permission to look at our heart? Get a clear picture of what I'm about. See for yourself whether I'm done or I've done anything wrong and then guide me on the road to eternal life. So intentions of the heart are important and that's where we're going to go. So please stay tuned for this next Be Respondent episode. You know, ladies and gentlemen, we're so grateful that the Bible actually has so much to say in just about everything that we may come up with. And... We found that the Bible poses a question in Galatians 1, verse 10. Actually kind of like questions us, which I like. It says, Am I now trying to win the favor and approval of men or of God? Or am I seeking to please someone? If I were still trying to be popular with men... I would not be a bondservant of Christ. Mm -hmm. You hear that? If you're still trying to be popular with men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ. So that's very clear. Knowing that if you're trying just to win the approval and you just want to be the in person, you, you just need to be accepted everywhere, you know, you just have to go above and beyond just to, to get be in the in crowd. You want to be known. You you everything. God is saying it, it's hard to to be a bond servant to Christ, to, to be a servant of Christ, to to follow Him because you're doing things to pleasure men, meaning people, and not necessarily pleasing God. And God is looking at the intentions of the heart. Yeah, you have to question why am I wanting to please. People. What what is it going? What is going on in my life? What's going on in my heart? What is it about pleasing others that does something for me? What is it going on in my heart? And I want you to follow us here. First Thessalonians two verse four says, mm -hmm. "But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, I mean, now that you're a child of God, the Bible tells us that we've been entrusted now with this truth, so we're responsible for that." The, the, um, so we speak not as if we were trying to please people. So now you understand when I'm sharing my faith, when I'm sharing, uh, the way I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, why I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the way I do, 
I'm not doing it to please people. That's what this verse is saying. It's saying, I'm not trying to gain power or popularity, but, I, but I'm doing so to please God. Why? Because he's the one who's ultimately always examining our hearts. And if anything, God is the one who's always expecting us to give our best. And so, um, you know, when you're pleasing, when you're trying to please others, this is where, um, you know, we were talking a little bit about with the question where we said, are we in the difference of trying to please God mm -hmm. and please man? Um, you know, when, when you know that God wants me to give mm -hmm. him my best. So in wanting to give your best in everything you're doing, right? You're going about your day. You're trying to give your best, but you need to understand that if you're doing it and, and you're trying to please man, this is where the difference comes in, is, well, that person may not be pleased with you. They may not like the way you're doing something and you're, you're doing it with the right heart, but you're, but in that time, because that person is not pleased with something that you're doing, will that affect you? Will that hurt you? Well, see, that's the problem with, if all we're doing is trying to please people, and we lose track of who we're ultimately trying to please is God as a believer. See, so we need to understand the importance of why I'm doing the things I'm doing. If pleasing people were my goal, the Bible had we just read with these two verses, I would not be a true servant of the Lord. Because if all I'm doing is living to please others and I forget about ultimately my real life purpose is to please God, I'm going to end up understanding that these people may get disgusted by me for whatever reason. They don't like what I'm doing. I may never get a thank you. I may never. I, what happens if they, they like what I'm doing? These are different examples. They're liking what I'm doing. They, they love me because I'm doing what I'm doing. And then all of a sudden, I can't do those things anymore. Will they stop being pleased with me? Will they, will they turn their backs on me because I'm not doing the very thing that I was doing before because life changed and now I can't do those things anymore. Will they still treat me the way that they were treating me in kindness when I was doing the things that pleased them? See, so you need to ultimately understand why am I doing the things I'm doing and what is going on in my heart? And that's why we felt that humility, you know, with the question was the difference with walking in humility. Correct. And and pleasing God versus if you're doing it to please man, mm -hmm. pride could get in the way. Correct. But in, in regarding to the examples that we were thinking about is that were you really doing it to please God? Because if you were and, you know, people may get disappointed in regarding to what, what you were doing and yes, it, we understand that it hurts. Yes. If you were doing it to please God, will you continue doing that very thing? Mm -hmm. God is looking at your heart. If you were really doing it to please God, will you continue through all the hurt and everything else, will you continue to do the very thing that God has told you to do? Mm -hmm with great intentions in your heart to please him, mm -hmm. not to please people. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to consider here, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. a tremendous amount. Mm -hmm. So that's why humility comes into play here. Yeah. And you know, when we were even talking, we, mm -hmm. were, we were saying that unfortunately, we've seen many people get hurt um, in church, in families, because in church a lot, because their heart was to serve the Lord but they also, they also were trying to please someone. So it, the fine line is, I, why, I love what you just said. Why am I doing what I'm doing? If I keep doing what I'm doing and it's for the Lord, I'm not going to stop doing it. Right. With humility. Correct. With humility. And, and, that, and when it comes to humility, are you willing to discuss the thing with uh, whomever or are you just going to check out? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or just say, I'm hurt, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Humility with the Lord mm -hmm. 
gets the intention because just because of your heart, even in the hurt of your heart, there's still going to be an intention. Well, you know what? I'm hurt. I'll act upon my hurt or I'm just going to say things upon my hurt or mm -hmm. the intentions of my heart are going to be quite evident. Mm -hmm. Am I just going to run away? Am I going to do? So a lot of that, am I willing to discuss and sit down and talk or communicate? Or am I just going to just check out? Because unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we're, part of this is also going to teach you that if you don't handle a situation properly now, you're just going to find yourself going through the same situation wherever you go. Mm -hmm. And that's why it is important I like I, that we love this question and we chose to, to really uh, talk about it in the episode. But, you know, um, we want to also bring out now when you're doing something without humility, you'll yeah. see you'll see the results. So Correct. so this is also the the good part of testing where you are and your motives and why am I doing what I'm doing? OK, so without humility, you're going to find yourself murmuring and complaining about what you're doing you're going to find yourself being very argumentative you're going to you're going to be constantly disagreeing in what you're doing without humility so, so here's some of the scriptures that 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 point this out philippians 2 verse 14 says do all things do all th hear this do all things without murmurings and disputings do all things without murmurings and disputing. So if I'm if I'm living to please God, and if I'm making sure that I'm not just doing this to please man, to please people, I'm going to guard myself from murmuring and being argumentative. Okay? Philippians 2 verses 3 and 4 says, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. See, so without humility, what's happening? You're, without humility, you're going to do things selfishly. You're going to try to impress others. The scripture goes on to say, be humble. Thinking of others is better, better than yourselves. True humility is able to stay humble even, like as you said earlier, when someone has disappointed you. But you have to be able to confront it. Absolutely. So we're still talking about without humility here. In Philippians 2, we're looking at verse 4 now. It says, don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. So without humility, you don't care about the interests of someone else. See, when you're man-pleasing, you, you're also living to only want the interests of what's going on in that person's life. However, if you change and they and they don't like what you're doing, mm -hmm. they're going to show you they disapprove. If you're man pleasing, they may show you that. Then you're then you're understanding, my goodness, was I doing that from my own interest? And was I looking out really only to get praise? And that's why you know? I'm going to find myself maybe repeating this maybe one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to pray to the Holy Spirit and ask him, Lord, help me not to confuse wanting to please you, O God, with wanting to please people. Yeah. Show me what's in the motive of my heart. Amen. Amen. So without humility, um, Galatians 5.26 tells us, let's not become conceited, provoking, envying one another. See, when, what, what could also happen is when you're man-pleasing mm -hmm. and you're not walking in humility while you're doing this, you, you're not, you're man, you're man-pleasing and... People-pleasing. I mean, people-pleasing. Uh, and, you're, and you're not being humble about mm -hmm. it as well. Mm -hmm. what, hap what could happen too is you start to compare yourself yeah. with how those people treat other people. You start to say, why are those people treating them better than the way I, the way they treat me with all the things that I do? You start making the list of all the things that you've done to try to be a certain way toward these people. That's man pleasing. Correct. That's people pleasing. Correct. You know, and, and, and then you start to, you could become envious. Correct. You could, you could also 
become conceited when you're looked at and you're praised more than someone else. You know, the, all of this is about what's going on in our hearts. It's a, the main, as you said, God is always looking at our hearts. That's why with humility, mm-hmm. we want to point out that your heart will almost become more tender towards others and is not to please them, but because your heart is submitted and yielded to God. Mm-hmm. See, that's a huge difference from the without humility and with humility. Mm-hmm. With humility, you will find yourself say, wow, God, I'm, I'm yielded to you. I'm submitted to you. Mm-hmm. And your heart will still be tender towards people. Mm-hmm. Yes, they may be not necessarily correct, but you, will, you won't be a doormat. You, you yeah. won't tolerate, but you will literally say, God, I'm pleasing you so much that I will put a stop to, you know, injustice or whatever the situation is. You, you will lovingly put a stop to things, but your heart will not be come overwhelmed with evil because you're humble and yielded to God. And that's a very prayerful place to be in. Okay, we'll continue in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 21. It says, We are careful to be honorable before the Lord, but we also want everyone else to see that we are honorable. Now, that's the difference with doing something to please God. Because in this way, you're saying, God, I want to honor you in all that I'm doing. Correct. And in doing that, others will see that. Stand out and shine. shine for Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's that's what that that's what that motto is, right? Correct. Um, pleasing people. Um, Proverbs. Now, here's a, yeah. Here's the thing about the pleasing people. This was a warning that I wanted to interject. This is a huge warning. This is Proverbs twenty nine mm-hmm. verse twenty five. It says, "Fearing people is a dangerous trap, but trusting the Lord means safety." Mm-hmm. So. You're fearing them. You want to please them. You And let me be honest here. Wanting to please people is not necessarily a bad thing because you have to do that with a good heart and with humility. But it could also be a very dangerous trap if the intentions of your heart are wrong. And that's why you really have to pray. When it's genuine love, it's genuine action. When it's, when it's genuine love mm-hmm. for someone, it's genuine action. Correct. It's no longer trying to please someone because it's genuine. It's pure from the heart. That's why you got to say, Lord, help me not to confuse pleasing you with pleasing people. Mm-hmm. Ephesians 5.10 says, carefully determine what pleases the Lord. That, that's taking time with God and recognizing God, I want to make sure that what I'm doing is pleasing you. And if and if that means that there may be people that may not be pleased with what I'm doing, I want to make sure, Father, that I'm not offending you. I'm not grieving your Holy Spirit. Exactly. See, that, that, version, that version was the New Living Translation. I'm going to read from the Amplified Version here. Trying to learn. This is Ephesians 5.10. Trying to learn by experience what is pleasing to the Lord and letting your lifestyles be examples of what is most acceptable to Him. Your behavior expressing gratitude to God for your salvation. Amen. See, it's all about pleasing the Lord, but see, salvation. You want to, you want to, you want you want that wonderful relationship with Christ. Mm-hmm. Is what you need. I'm gonna read in. in um the New Living, uh, Acts 5.29, it says, But Peter and the apostles reply, We must obey God rather than any human authority. Now, why would, why would, God, why would Peter say that? Because the most important thing, and we read that also in the book of Daniel, it wasn't that, that, it, it, it wasn't that you don't want to do what's right, because doing what's right is going to please God. Yes. <laughs> right? But, um, but what was ultimately the most important thing? I have to please God. Yes. I have to do the thing that pleases God. Don't confuse, remember, don't confuse wanting to please God with wanting to please others. Romans 12 verse 10. That, this is awesome. I'm tells sorry. us, be devoted awesome. to one another in brotherly love. Outdo yourselves in honoring one another. 
Listen, when the heart is pure, genuine love produces genuine actions. When the heart is Mm -hmm. pure, you will want to do the thing that honors other people. It is no longer about pleasing them. It's no longer about being worried that you're accepted. It is purely genuine love of wanting to honor someone else. Correct. And and, and obey the, obey the Lord in doing that. That's the point. Because you know that I'm honoring God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to honor others genuinely, purely from the heart. Ephesians 5.21 says, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. He, listen, that is to me and Pastor Chris, that is a command. Yes. That is a command. We need to submit ourselves. We need to, that means we need to yield ourselves. We need to come under the authority of who God is. And when you come under the authority of who God is and you yield yourself and you submit yourself to the reverence of who he is, then that pure love will just go out to others. And I want you guys to apply that when things are not necessarily going the best. Mm -hmm. You could be in an argument. You could be having a disagreement. Um, You may not feel good. Um, You're in great need. You're crying. You're hurt. Father, help us. Yes. To 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 don't confuse pleasing you with pleasing people. Mm-hmm. Saying, Lord, help me to submit to one another out of reverence for for Christ. Mm-hmm. To submit underneath, to yield myself underneath the mighty hand of God. Yes. God, I want to be a peacemaker. I want to be the person that brings peace in the room. But in the right way. Yes. Not to please people. Not, no. God's peace. Exactly. Because I'm submitted to God. First Peter three eight says, finally, let's hear this. Because we're going to pray. Finally, all of you should be of one mind. Sympathize with each other. Love each other. As brothers and sisters, be tender hearted. And keep a humble attitude. Father, we thank you so very much for your grace and mercy. Lord, I thank you that we can have great conversations and questions. And we can go into your word to find out, Lord, about what you would have to say on various topics. So God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that every one of our viewers, Lord, and listeners, that they will literally, Lord, study this, that they will play this over and over until it it, it gets deep within them. Because Lord, there is a great need of your Holy Spirit to reveal to every single one of us God, show me to please you. Lord, show me when I am trying to please people. God, in pleasing people. And it's nothing wrong with that. But how is my heart? What is my intentions when I'm doing that, Lord? Am I obeying you? So God, we call upon you and we're asking you, Lord, to reveal yourself to us. God, we need you. And we bless your holy name. Give us the true humility of the Holy Spirit to know, Lord, that we are to be submitted to you and to walk with you and to continue to do things that you have called us to do, Lord. Not to walk away from anything that you have called us to just because of our feelings. But Lord, because we have great faith in you, because we serve a great big God that does great and mighty things, Help us, Lord God, to stay with you, being submitted to you, submitted under your authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this channel. And I'm going to say it again. Subscribe. (laughs) Create a Gmail account. It may take you literally 60 seconds to do so. Click on Google. Most people go there and just type in, you know, my first name is Tom, tom at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Create it, go straight to Resplendency, this YouTube channel, click on the bell, subscribe. That's as simple as it is. Many of you go and search for everything else that you need, go ahead and do this also. Because in doing that, you'll receive the word of God. You will receive encouragement 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And you'll be able to share it with many others because it's not just you, but God wants you to be his hand extended and to share it with many others so they too can be just fed the word of God. And maybe they need to be convicted by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord use this for his glory is what we pray to, to stand out and shine for Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And I pray that they'll join us with all of our social media and download our app mm-hmm. in now, Jesus' name. And remember, you guys can share your questions at contact at resplendency.com. That's contact at resplendency.com. And perhaps one of your questions will be in an upcoming Be, be Resplendent episode. Absolutely. I want to thank those of you that take time to read my blogs on letstakeamoment.com and follow me at Examine Moments. And remember, we have podcasts as well. And remember, we on the podcast, we have Resplendency Life. That's right. And I thank you to all of you that's been joining us in our live streams and Sundays and just, just being a part of Resplendency. We love every single one of you and appreciate appreciate you guys those of you that have been sending the tithes and offerings and to our uh, products that we need yes. the finances we want to say thank you for continuing to do that it is so well needed and it is so appreciated but we want you to give unto the lord with a pure heart because god loves a cheerful giver Amen. god bless you ladies and gentlemen and on behalf of all of resplendency pastor chris here and pastor natalie here we want to tell you to do Stand Stand out out and shine shine. for Jesus Christ. Yes. Give him him glory. Amen. (laughs) God bless you. God bless.